Shalom Aleichem, the Sicha of Matus Gimel is actually fascinating, its background, its context. Um, it comes from a Fabrengen of the first year that the Rebbe taught Rashi Sichas. That was Tavshin Chafei, the year that his, the Rebbe's mother, Rebbe Tzachana, passed away. Now, this whole Fabrengen was just Rashi Sichas. And it's fasting. The Rebbe starts off first with a Sicha on Rashi, that's on the beginning of Parshas Matus. It was a combination of Matis Masi. Fine, the Rebbe finishes off the whole Sikha, blah, blah, blah. And sorry for that, that was disrespectful. And then the Rebbe goes on and says, regarding the custom to explain a Pirish Rashi at, at the beginning and end of every Parsha. That's what the Rebbe was doing that year. So even though we're learning Parsha's Matis Masi together, it's the fact is, even though it's together, it's two separate Parshas. Hashem wanted for a reason he knows that some years we're going to combine it. Um, and that says, um, how do we know that's two parshias? Number one, because many years, including last year and the and the previous year, they said that it's separately. So it's impossible that one year it's one parsha and the next year it's two separate parshias. Also, we know according to the Zoya that says it's 20, 53 stodim. So um, Parshas Masamata are separate. And the fact that you say that Mechuber connected means that they're technically separate, they're just being combined. It's only by Mitzvah's Kiyas Hatayra you read them together. So that was says that we cannot suffice with learning a Rashi at the beginning of Matis, at the end of Masay. No, we have to do beginning of Matis, end of Matis, beginning of Masay, end of Masay. Then the Rebbe went on to our Sikha, which is the end of Matis. We'll come back to it in a moment. Then the Rebbe went on to a Sikha about the beginning of Masay. And that was the parts of the Nakuda, the Sicha um, of, of Masse in this in, in volume 18 in, in Chelek Yudchest. And then the Rebbe went on to a Sicha of the end of Masse, uh, and that's printed in the Nakuda Sicha's Chelek Ches. And that's all Fabreng. Beginning, end, beginning, end, Mazel Tov. Four Rashi Sichas and one Fabreng. I don't know if that's a record, but my guess is that uh, I, I believe that there's no fabing and that there were more than four Rashi Sikhas. Anyway, so let's go back to it. So let's see what the Rebbe teaches us that we maybe didn't fully unpack in the actual Sikh. The Rebbe went on to, as we saw, to explain by Yikdallah Noivach. It's not a map it doesn't have a dot. And the Rebbe goes to explain, you know, the Yusadish of Mesha Adashim, et cetera. And the Rebbe went on to explain that a peep shutish the um, you cannot say that la is loy with an aleph because the Pasuk says la. So you must say that's only the medrash is the one that brings the loy. In other words, it's a, it's a metzius the fuya. So it's a weaker metzius. It's not the strong metzius. And then Rashi says, I'm wondering what he'll say about the wor word similar, yemela bayis and livnas no bayis. Even though they're takadrashis in in megid in medrashos in the gemara, because I'm waiting to see, I'm I'm curious to see what he would say adrash al pi apshat. That the that remember because we just said that loy is it's not loy but it's metzius lefli it's a weak metzius that wasn't really it didn't end up being noivach so it's not loy as in strong no it just it wasn't it was a soft no um, because over there you must say that. In those two words, that's a strong no, not a soft no. And um, by, 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 sorry, because by Yema Labayas, it's a strong one. Like, I'm, you're not going to be like one of uh, my maid servants. You'll be like one of the matriarchs of Imaus. And by Livnus No Bias, it's talking about flattery that stayed in Bavel Bequius and not uh, regarding ego that, that got mixed up. And didn't stay strong in Bavel. So you can't say that was a Mitzvah Stafuya. Now, on the point that the Rebbe spoke about, uh, the, the, the Ramban, because we said the Ramban has a question that Lachur it says in Medrash or Sengemar, it has answers. So the Rebbe says, even though we find that there are Midrashim that have only been revealed in, pre, in later generations, not in previous generations. And also the flip side, there are midrashim that the Shainim knew and we don't have. For example, in Zayar, that there's a suffix, if Rashi 
and Taisvis knew the whole Zaire the way we have it, and so to Talmud do the Shalmi, that just like by us, we don't have parts that, that there are parts of the Shalmi that didn't come to us, so too it's possible that they had parts, um, that they had parts that didn't, that we don't have, and based on that, we can explain some of the questions on Taisvis, that he doesn't bring from the words of Yishami because he didn't have it. Nevertheless, the Rebbe says, he cannot say that in time of Ashley, he didn't have Megillus Dus, because if it's possible to answer that, then the Ramban doesn't have a question. He would say that she didn't have it. So you must say that the Ramban, who lived only a few generations after Rashi, was able to know that Megillus Dus came to Rashi. Um, and as you can see, that in the, his Pirush of Dus, Rashi brings some in Yanim that, in, that their source is in Metrishis. Anyways, then after the, the, that part of Sikha that we learned, Deborah went on and said, we could go on and explain the reason why Rashi brings the Pidush of the Moshe Adarshan, even though he doesn't know, he is wondering my Yiddish, because these words are not in Chamesh but in Nach. And this is a whole thing that I think is quite fascinating. One of the differences between Chamesh Chum and Nach is that Chamesh Chum has to be Kipshute, that we saw in the Sikha. Because if it, otherwise, you'll remove the whole point of Teda Mitzvahs. Think about this. I think this is very incredible. Um, something to think of. He said, let me just for example, it says you should put on tefillin. So the first literal thing is you have to put on tefillin. There's taket and emes and tefillin that's the, for the heart and the mind, etc. So a person could say, I think about Hashem the whole day. I'm dedicating my heart. I don't have to do tefillin. No. Action. Literal translation. So to tzitzis, a person could say, you know, the tzitzis has tcheles and tcheles reminds you of the ocean and the ocean, the sky and the sky is kisya kaved. So what do you mean? I don't need the similarity of the blue of the tzitzis, which is such a far correlation. Ich gei direct. Did I ever use the word direct? To the yeshiv al I'm going directly to the one who's sitting on the throne, the Eibishter. What do I need the literal? No, because Kavana Satayda is tzitzis kipshutai. Only after that can you think about hints and the similar of the sky. So to Shabbos, zeich l'mai so a person could say, after I mentioned already, Zechel and Reishis and Kiddush and Davening, so I'll transgress, I'm a little melacha. No, don't break Shabbos. But by Nach, we find things that are not so literal. Now, this is a point that Rebbe did say in the Sikha, but definitely is not as unpacked as we have it over here. So by Nach, you don't have to say necessarily that it's Pashto Seinyan. By the Pasuk by Yemela Boyas, so the Pshat that Boyas tells her, you're going to be like one of the Imois. Um, doesn't fit with the simple literal of the Pasuk. That, uh, because at that time, Boyas is talking about having the food, come sit down and eat. The whole discussion about matriarchs is only tomorrow, when they, the next day when they had the conversation and they realized that she could marry in. So to live nice babayas, you cannot say that um, it's a literal house, um, four walls, etc. Why? Because Hanufa flattery went to the whole to the whole bay, to the whole country, not just a small space. So because the Pidush and Mpsuki Nach are not don't have to be Shutri Shalmikra. So therefore, even the wonder about the Rabbi Shadarshan cannot negate him. It's just a wonder. Then the Rebbe went on to like the, the Sikha, the, the lesson of the Sikha, um, that because in these two Psukim we're talking about transforming the opposite of the Lomaz in Pekdusha, Rus's conversion to become like one of the Imais and turning over the darkness of Babel to the Talmud Shabbat. Um, and that was spoke, and that was then explained the incredible ilu, the incredible thing about turning over lumaz and tukdusha, because then you know for a fact that the, that you did a, the avoda b'shlemus, and for example by nisyonus when you have tests, as long as you didn't pass the test in your life, you don't know if you're going to pass the test. It's only when the test has come and you've passed it, you know that you're avoda b'shlemus. But in order to achieve this avoda, you have to put a lot of yigia meduba, a lot of yigia more than the regular Yigiyah that you need, um, even the Kedusha. It has to be like we see the Hispanimus, you have to be, the, the Paragimotanya, you have to Kesha Amitz V'chazak Moed, an incredible deep meditation. Otherwise you won't have Ava V'yira Amitis. 
similar to the, the waters, like the famous thing in the Springs about that if you need mayim chayim, you need living water. And if water dries up once in seven years, it means it's not really alive. So to, things have to be with intensity. And with, if you do Aveda with this intensity, um, through the efforts of, uh, and the pain that you put through, that's the reward. And you bring the the, the, the Sakavana of why in the came to this world, which is either the Tzai Then the devil went on to say that when you're transforming the world into good, it's not enough to just say Mitzir Stafuya, um, because Klippa has to be negated entirely, and Kedusha has to be strong, the strongest take of. And on the point that the Lusamayavia became one of the Imais, which is the ultimate transformation, Deva said so much so that from her came the Bayes Neman, Malchus Bayes David, Mashiach Ben David, who's going to build the base of English take from Yad Mamash. Just absolutely fascinating to see um, some of the points that I've explored. And specifically for me, what, I've, what, what really struck with me is this Nakuda of the difference between Tanakh and Chumash and how Chumash must mean literal. Otherwise, we have big issues.